Civil servants, you better pay attention to this next report and its relief for civil servants across the country. As President Uru Kenyatta directed that no one should be forced to take the COVID-19 jab. The president's order coming a day after the expiry of the August 23rd deadline when all state officers were required to get the jab. Now, with a surge in COVID-19 infections, the president is adamant that reopening of the economy will largely be dependent on the uptake of vaccines amongst the population. Raquel Muigai reports. It is such queues of impatient civil servants that characterized the entrances and open spaces of various health facilities in the country for the better part of Monday. A hope to beat the deadline that had been set by the head of public service that will see unvaccinated civil servants endure disciplinary proceedings. However, we are not going to force anybody. It will be your decision whether you want to take or not. But I truly truly would encourage, especially those who are in that most vulnerable bracket, that it is essential that you be vaccinated. It is still unclear whether or not disciplinary action will be meted on those who have not yet taken the job, as the matter is expected to be decided in a court of law on Wednesday after an advocate in Nakuru County moved to the courts, hoping for interpretation on how a medical issue could become a labor matter. The push by the government to have everyone vaccinated comes at a time when various counties are recording a surge in COVID-19 infections. Nyandara County Assembly being the latest victim, as normal operations will for the next three weeks cease as a measure to contain the spread of the virus. The decision coming just a day after the county's Interfaith Council raised concern over the increase in the number of COVID-19 infections and deaths, citing failure by the public to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols outlined by the Ministry of Health. Kwa hivyo nitauliza wachungaji, tufanya kazi na machifu wetu. Kama ni ibada ambao unaendesha, ukiona watu wanakuja wajavaa mask, watu wanakataa kunawa mikono, watu wanakataa kuweka social distance, Simamisha ibada kwanza. Wambia watu wafuatilie mikakati yote ambao imewekwa kwa mazishi. Nyandara County is however not an isolated case. Meru County is also reading from a similar script. But if the sentiments by the county executive committee member for health are anything to go by, then the county is struggling to treat and manage its COVID-19 patients. It's overwhelming. So right now what we are doing is we are transferring some of the other ordinary patients to other facilities, to Kajakine, to Boroga, so that we can create room to accommodate more COVID patients. So right now, the world is full. On Tuesday, government statistics recorded 1,166 new infections out of a sample size of 9,924 pushing the positivity rate to 11.8%. Additionally, 2,013 people have also been admitted in various hospitals for COVID-19 treatment and management, with 156 among them being intensive care unit patients. 36 deaths have also been recorded, one among them occurring in the last 24 hours. With the situation in Nyandarua and Meru counties being a drop in the ocean of the bigger picture that is the country's COVID-19 reality, President Uru Kenyatta is urging Kenyans to trust in science and the hope that has been pegged on COVID-19 vaccines. We are hopefully now going to start getting a steady supply of our own vaccine and hopefully we may be a month or two months late but be able to meet our 10 million target of the most vulnerable which will be a key indicator for us now fully opening up uh, the economy. So far, 2,501,198 vaccines have been administered across the country, of this being 1,714,858 first doses, the proportion of fully vaccinated adults being only 2.9%. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.